Today, I am going to show you how to organize a e-conference or online seminar uh, or as you may know it as webinar. Nowadays, webinar is being very popular and many of uh, you have asked me uh, to show how to organize a webinar in very simple manner. So I will make three to four videos and will explain you step by step how to organize an online uh, webinar. So at first, you need some resource person uh, for your webinar. Here I have collected these three uh, details of these three persons who are very established in their fields uh, and agreed uh, to be a resource person and deliver a lecture on this topic. So first, uh, short it out. Uh, what is the name of your webinar? Uh, what is the, what are the topics? Uh, the date and time uh, of your webinar uh, and etc. The organizers. Uh, and uh, these are the details of the resource persons and um, the managing committee everything you need to put it down in a single uh, or in two page short form ms word file so that uh, in future we have to create a registration form and leaflet flyer and website so this all information will be handy the first step of a uh, uh, organizing a webinar is creating the registration forms it is very easy uh, by using Google form or G form. So I hope that all of you have Gmail IDs. If you have a Gmail ID, you have access to all the Google products. So in a Chrome browser, uh, if you open the web page, it will look like this. Here you can see the nine dots. Go here, you will find Google Docs. So inside the docs, there are basically three to four types of Google product. One is doc, doc file, uh, spreadsheets. Uh, this is actually Excel format uh, file can be open here. This is slide uh, similar to PowerPoint presentation. And here is the form, Google form. So click Google form. Now, here is the Google form. Now, uh, there is no form uh, yet because I have not created any uh, Google form using this uh, Google ID. So let me add some Google form and uh, to do this you need to click this uh, colorful plus button to create a new blank Google form. Okay. So first of all I need to put the title. So now you can see this word file will become handy. Uh, here is the title of my webinar college student stress during COVID-19 pandemic and strategies to overcome it. So let me and make the font of this a uh, similar like so okay now i can copy this file simply copy and i can paste it in the title okay so let me see if it is done okay done now i can give a description of this webinar uh, such as the date of the webinar and time so let us put this date and time in the description panel here okay i can also give the name of the organizing committee here organized by so i don't want to give a, a space so i will remove that after okay no organized by let's see department of education in collaboration with iqsc Fakicha college that is my college name okay oh here should be diamond harbor it should be in capital now uh, i want to uh, this webinar to be a, a national level uh, webinar so i can also put it here one day okay all done for the header file now in this registration forms what are the details that we need from the participants first of all i can uh, add main as many question here as i want and they will be collected in a spreadsheet so first i would like to know the name of the participants so i'm writing here full name okay and this should be a short answer question and uh, google has an artificial intelligence assistant so it automatically detected that full name should be a short answer question 
and do you want to make it necessary question suppose anybody uh, uh, who doesn't know better about uh, google form they can uh, keep it blank so in that case their form will not be submitted so this can be done right here i'm just clicking the required button so you can see now you have to write your name here full name otherwise your form will not be submitted now this is the first step now i want to add another question that uh, name of your organization so organization like uh, college or uh, university um, so this is also a compulsory question okay and before that suppose i want uh, their email ids to communicate now you think that i am writing email id uh, your email id okay so you want to put this email id before the uh, organization question so simply you can drag and put it there right so now this email id is also a compulsory question so you have to put an email id and uh, there is no required to number this is not phone number so i just cut it so you have to put your email id and after that it will ask about your phone number maybe i want to communicate with you in uh, whatsapp or telegram group so i can put a phone number button tab mobile number now mobile number is not necessary suppose uh, anybody doesn't want to uh, give their personal number to you so that's make it non required email id is also required because i will communicate every uh, meeting link or a certificate id link uh, to via email so it is compulsory but phone number is not mandatory they can left it blank after that uh, they have to put their name of the organization which organization they belong to after that maybe i want to know uh, his designation his or her designation you can ask the participants about their designation suppose uh, as a their teacher or student or phd scholar uh, so it can be um, designation or maybe your designation so let it write like this your designation and i want to be this as a uh, multiple choice uh, choice question or maybe drop down okay so first student add other research scholar after that i would want to put assistant professor um associate professor or simply professor or maybe others okay so the uh, option for designations are student research scholar assistant professor associate professor professor or others other the default other option will uh, show a another uh, drop box where he can write as a maybe school teacher or independent uh, uh, scholar or anything so let me put a uh, or uh, i can ask him about his address okay so it is also a paragraph now which are the compulsory let me show you again name is compulsory that's why there is a star mandatory email id you have to uh, the participant have to put their email ids for further communication uh, mobile number is not compulsory but name of their organization is compulsory also make this as a compulsory designation it is also compulsory and address it is also compulsory i want to name their state or locality so now the form is done so let me show you how this form will look uh, to the uh, applicants or participants so you can simply preview your form okay one day national level webinar on college students stress during covid 19 pandemic and strategies to overcome it and date 8 9 uh, 2020 time 3 pm to 6 pm organized by department of education in collaboration with iqsc okay everything is right you have to put your name your email id mobile number it is not compulsory uh, organization and your designation okay and your address after that you will be able to submit now 
some uh, applicants want their feedback uh, email to them so whatever response i have entered i should get a uh, copy of it in my email id the email id that is given here so you can also do that from setting also okay first i can also have a theme i can also have orange okay orange is good not bad background color is also orange mm. I can put an image at the background. Okay, what type of image I want? Oh, this is a uh, educational webinar. So let me put some books there. Okay, insert. Now you can see this will be the form. Let me show you the preview again. Now this will be shown to the participants. Okay, and uh, you can go there this is the uh, setting part here so there is the setting i can uh, collect email address yes response received here if you select this uh, option response received then they will get if re uh, respondent requests it then he will get a response received i want them to have it anyway so i checked always so whenever a participant fill up our webinar uh, form they will get a uh, copy of this response okay and uh, response can be edited edit after submit yes suppose i am filling up my form and i have uh, done some uh, error after seeing the response that i received i should be able to edit my response okay i will show you how to do that okay so now my registration form is done okay so how will you share these registration forms to others here you can see send option and there is link i always choose shorten url so that the url is very small now this is the link for your registration form copy it and keep it safe somewhere so that you can use it later on your flyer or you can also give this link directly to the participant or defined whatsapp group or in social media or in your college website so that everybody can um, apply for this webinar so let me show you how this registration form works so i am pasting the form link and uh, just load it here okay now for a, a student or other participant uh, this is how the registration form will look like so here uh, all the details are given about the webinar and it is asking for my verified email id so i am using another email id uh, so that i can get a response if you made any mistake in this email address it will automatically show there must be a valid email address otherwise no response can be mailed back uh, so i have to put it correctly okay so this is my email address suppose this is my name I want to give my phone number okay I don't want to show you my phone number so let's give it blank my college okay designation uh, if I choose others then we have I have to write whatever suppose sect one or two or any other lecture or, or lab assistant or GLI whatever so here you have to write that okay now for now I choose my assistant professor and address just i'm putting okay now submit so suppose after submission let me close and check my email that if i got my response to me or not here you can see google form already sent me my response I can see whatever the data I have entered here. So this is uh, thanks for filling out this form, which is its name. And here is the details, email ID, full name. Suppose uh, mobile number, I want to put my mobile number or in fact change my name or whatever. I have made some mistake. Except the email ID, anything can be um, corrected, okay? So there should be an option A here, edit response okay let's see
now i can submit this again so in this way uh, if you uh, keep your edit response option active so anybody whoever have made any mistake they can be able to correct their mistake they don't have to uh, apply uh, more than one time to for correct application so i again have received the corrected response here you can see now my response is corrected so this is all about uh, the google form use of google form for a webinar it is very simple step to make a google form uh, registration uh, application and only one thing that you need is your form link this link should be shared via whatsapp or facebook or via flyer and in next video i will show you how to create your own flyer and uh, even a website for your webinar and after that uh, when some people will register in this webinar where to collect their data from and how to manage this data uh, which we have obtained through this google form so here you can see already there is one response um, so which is actually my response so i can see everything here so i will show you later how to use this uh, google form again if you go to your google form you can see your form and you can edit it anytime you want so let me show you again these nine dots and then go to docs or you can simply write google form in your google search engine it will also uh, do the work and then go to google forms and here you will always find the form which um, you have created so to identify if there are many forms you have to identify them no? so just rename this form so that i can find it uh, later so just i rename this document as college students stress okay so i can write it here and this is automatically saved you don't have to uh, uh, press control s or you don't have to save this form from any other places it is uh, continuously saving your work in your background so whenever i go to google form i can see this form college student strength okay stay tuned for our next video where i will show you how to create uh, your flyer using uh, powerpoint presentation and how to create your website for your webinar thank you for watching